If you like to check out new card making supplies before you spend money on them, this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel and this video is the latest episode of my favorite YouTube series, New and Must Have Crafty Supplies, where I check out the new product list and purchase a bunch of things that catch my eye and then share the ones that I love with you. This month I have a bunch of different supplies, things like the new Distress Color from Tim Holtz, new stencils from Echo Park, new die cuts and washi tape from Simple Stories, and much more. I also have a big D-Stash giveaway. At the end of the video, be sure to stick around so that you can find out how to enter to win. So let's take a look at my favorites this month and how they work for card making. First up, we're gonna check out the Simple Stories Color Vibe Flower Bits in Brights. These are a whole pack of die cuts. They have a printed dot on them, but otherwise they're just the bright colors. And the washi tape is the same thing. I haven't purchased washi tape since back in my scrapbooking days, so I thought it'd be fun to try it out on some card making. And I love that these two coordinate really, really well. And of course they're in a rainbow of bright colors, so that makes me happy. I decided to try the Picket Fence Shaker Sheets. These are large size, thin shaker sheets that can go really well with their shaker dies. I don't own any of those, so I kind of make do and make my own shaker with the sheets, but they are a nice thin acetate, so it's not like a thick thing that you're having to try to deal with as far as folding around the edge. They make infinity shaker cards really easy. Next up are some Nuvo Dream Drops and Crystal Drops. Now the Dream Drops have a little bit of iridescence to them and the Crystal Drops are just a shiny solid color. And I've used these many times before. I've featured them in my new and must have crafty civet videos before. I just love those colors. So let's just see how they drop out. I love how you can get a nice, small, tiny drop and you can create a large drop. I like how they are super dimensional. They dry that way as well. They don't flatten out. And I love how easy it is to add them to your cards for a little bit of color and a little bit of extra dimension. Next up, if you haven't heard, the Distress line has a new color. It's called Lumberjack Plaid. It is a beautiful true red. I actually pre-ordered and I got these four products in my pre-order. So I ordered the Distress Paint, the Distress Oxide Spray, the Distress Oxide Ink, and then the refill for that Distress Oxide Ink. So I am gonna stamp out all of the reds so that you can see that this new color is truly a new color. Sometimes when you think to yourself, I already have like four Distress Oxide red inks. Do I really need another one? Yes, you really do because this one is such a true red. That's all I can say. So you can see the second one is Candied Apple. That has some more orange to it. The third one is Festive Berries. Has some like pink to it. Then we have Fired brick and no, then we have barn door and then fired brick. So you can see that the top lumberjack plaid is really just a great true red. It is great for the holidays and beyond. Honestly, I wasn't sure about the spray because I didn't want it to look like a crime scene, but I end up spraying a bunch on a card panel and I'm going to add something to this later that's going to make it look a lot different. Okay, next up are two Echo Park stencils. They have these tiny little hearts and then these tiny little plus signs and I loved how delicate they were. I also grabbed a honeybee pattern paper pad. It's called Giddy for Gingham. This is 24 sheets, two of each design, six by eight and a half size. And I just love the colors and I, I actually really like gingham. I just really like this rainbow of colors and I like the two sides have the different colors on them. I also grabbed some of their gold glimmer enamel stickers. And I love how there's two different or three different sizes of those. And I wanted to try their metallic silver pigment ink. They have a gold as well as a white available. I grabbed the silver to see if I liked it and 
it is a true silver and I'm really happy with it. And I haven't bought a pigment ink in a long time, so I did have to work with it a little bit to figure out how to get it to dry, but it is really super pretty. So I'm just going to stamp that out so you can see the shine that you get with this actual pigment ink. I am going to heat set it a little bit. I still had a little smearing even after I heat set it a little bit. You probably need to heat set it a bit more. As always, I don't want to just show you a bunch of new products. I want to show you them on cards. So now let's make some cards. For this first card, I started with two sentiments from the Waffle Flower Puzzle Sentiment Stamp Set. You might have seen me use this recently. I really like this stamp set. It's super cute. And I thought it would go well with some torn washi. So the sentiment says, to my other half, love you to pieces. So I thought tearing these washi tapes in half and then wrapping it around the edges kind of went along with those sentiments, just like the sentiments would go along with the puzzle die that Waffle Flower originally re released them with. But I wanted to use a rainbow of washi tape, of course, gotta have a rainbow. So I just tore them and then, like I said, wrapped the edges around the left and the right hand side so that you get a clean edge on the left and right, but you have that torn edge in the middle that kind of mimics the idea of half and pieces. And I wanted a slightly longer piece on the top. The good thing about washi tape is you really get a lot on that roll. So just go for it and make it how you want it. For this card, I am going to use the Simple Stories die cuts and they come with a load of different colors, these bright colors again, that rainbow, but also some have dots, some are solid and they have flower centers, they have leaves, so it is really easy. I stamped Welcome to the Family from that same puzzle sentiment stamp set. And that is really easy to layer up a whole bunch of flowers with leaves. My favorite trick is to start out with the big flowers in the center and only put one square of adhesive in the center behind each one. Then you have plenty of room to fill in around the edges and to get both dimension and just a really fun look out of them. Next up, we're going to use the Honey Bee Giddy for Gingham pad. I have three different colors picked out and I'm using the dies from Waffle Flower that are the oversized print love dies. And what I like about these is that the L is separate from the OVE. So I was able to swap the colors out and have all three have different L's on them. Now these are larger. They normally would go on horizontal or even a five by seven card, but I decided to use three on top of each other on an A2 card. So anything that kind of fell off the side, I just flip the card over and cut off the excess. You can still read what it says. And I was able to fit all three with those different colors. I'm going to add some of the Nouveau Dream and Crystal Drops. I have the pink up top and then the orange down below because I have the love in pink at the top and the orange at the bottom. So again, Again, I can vary the sizes of the drops throughout the card, but they just add a nice embellishment to it. For this next card, I'm going to use a piece of the gingham pattern paper with the picket fence shaker sheets, and I'm going to put an A2 piece of cardstock inside the shaker sheet. I'm going to use two of the edges, and then I'm going to cut the other two edges a little bit larger than the card. Now, I believe that their dies actually cut tabs with these sheets. They cut through two sheets, but they also, I think, cut tabs so that you can adhere them down on the back. Since I don't have their dies, I am going to cut my own tabs. So I cut a little bit larger than the cardstock, and then I'm going to cut off the back of the plastic. So one sheet of the plastic is going to have its tab cut off and that's how I'm going to adhere it down 
behind the shaker card. So this is going to be an edge to edge shaker. It's going to have sequins throughout the A2 card. I'm gonna put a bunch of tape runner on the back of this card and I'm gonna try to slide it in. I did mess it up a little bit. It got a little wrinkled on the back, but the beauty about this is that it's going to go onto a card base. So you're never gonna see that. So I close off the one edge that was open and leave the top open and pour in the shaker goodies and then use some tape runner to close off that top edge. And now all four edges are open. So if I wasn't using the side and the bottom of those shaker sheets, I would have had to do this on all four sides. But check that out. Look at all those shakers in there. I love using up shaker goodies because that allows me to buy more. So I'm going to use the dies from Waffle Flowers Star Snowflake Bundle. You may have seen me use this in a previous video. I really like this set and it's got a really pretty sentiment it says it's the most wonderful time of the year so I just silver heat emboss that right on top and I'm going to add some of those nouveau drops the snowflake and the sentiment are on top of the shaker this way they don't get covered up with the sequins that are inside but I love how it looks like it's snowing inside the card as well next up I'm going to use the echo park stencil with the little heart so I'm going to use some pixie tape and adhere the cardstock to the back of the stencil. Remember to use a little bit of pressure when you're using pixie tape, it helps it stay stuck down. You may have seen me use the new colors of ink from the stamp market, Blossom is one of them, and I have used before their little brush ink blender. So you have seen a couple of these from other videos, but I really love those little brushes. I'm going to use just a little tissue to wipe off the ink that that was on there because I want to do the center in yellow and I don't want the yellow brush to pick up any pink or orange ink off the stencil. So now I have this tricolor little mini heart and I'm going to stamp blah blah I love you which is also from the waffle flower puzzle sentiment stamp and then mat it down onto some of the honeybee pattern paper and then add some of the nouveau drops. Again pink at the top and orange at the bottom. So a really quick and easy card but I think it's so cute and so much fun. For this card I am going to treat this black piece of cardstock with anti-static powder and then I'm going to place the Echo Park little plus sign stencil right on top and I'm using the metallic honeybee silver pigment ink with a Tim Holtz ink blender and when you peel it off it looks great as is but I don't want to wait for it to dry so I'm going to pour some clear embossing powder on top and then heat set that and that will trap the pigment ink underneath and then just wash, wipe off that excess uh, anti-static powder tool because it really shows up on the black paper. I trimmed that panel down so that I could mat it on some turquoise looking pattern paper and then I'm going to go back to those simple stories die cuts and pop up a layered flower. So I created that with three different flowers from the die cut pack and now I'm going to add the honeybee little enamel dots to the top as the flower center. This is the oversized hey hi hello from Waffle Flower. This was again a quick and easy card but I love all the elements and how they came together together on it. I'm going to go back to the little heart stencil. This time I'm going to use lumberjack plaid and I am working on some stamp market breeze cardstock and I just wanted to remember for myself that distress oxide really looks great on colorful cardstock because it sits a little bit above the cardstock so you still get that true color. Another way to use the washi tape is to create a washi tape frame around the card. Now of course you could just cut the cardstock down, the panel down, and mat it on some red or red dot cardstock. But the washi tape has this cool kind of waxy, shiny look to it. So just for something different, try a washi tape frame. Also, if you mess up and you don't have as much of the washi tape on the panel as you want, it removes very easily. It doesn't tear paper, so you can remove it and do it again. So there are limitless numbers of times that you can get those washi tapes to come off and go back down. And last but not least, I am going to adhere a hey from the oversized hey, hi, hello from Waffle Flower onto a 
piece of vellum. I cut out the shadow in vellum, the letters in white cardstock, a really simple card again, but so many just cute little elements. Remember that lumberjack plaid that looked like blood splatter? Well, now we're gonna add some fresh balsam mica spray to it. So this is going to make it look a little more Christmassy and a little less gory. And I am going to put some anti-static powder tool all over that once I heat set it really, really well. I'm gonna use my Debbie tool. I am stamping a stamp set from Waffle Flower that I believe was last Christmas. It's a poinsettia set. They have a new poinsettia set, but I have the old one and I think it's still available. So I will link to that down in the description box below. This is old and new coming together and it makes me so happy to continue to use those stamp sets that even came out last year. I just matted it on some gold glitter cardstock to finish this card off. Okay, and I've been trying to include at the end of my new and crafty supplies videos, something that I'm still really excited about. This is something that I'm still really excited about. I did a whole video on wax seals from Spellbinders and I talked about how much fun they are to create and they're still really fun to create. And I did say that I was gonna get more seal stamps and I was gonna get more wax beads, and I did. I got white and pink and red, and then I got this cute little wax seal stamp that says love you and has a heart with little flowers. You'll see it in a minute. So again, you just use a tea light inside there and melt the wax seals. You start with four beads, and then if you have a little excess in there, you can put three beads in and that's plenty. Then once you pour out the wax onto the silicone mat. You just place the seal stamp on top. You don't press it down. You just lay it on top and then it peels right off. And check this out. I love the silver with little hints of red. Making the marbleized look is my favorite. You could absolutely just use one color but I think it's so much fun to make a marbleized wax seal. I love them. You can put a little paint pen on the raised edges to make it stand out a little bit more. I'm going to use some of, some of the honeybee pattern paper and I'm gonna tie some of that Spellbinders cord around it. And then I am going to put tape runner all over the back. And you'll see I put tape runner right on the cord as well. That's gonna help me hold it in place so it doesn't slide around too much. And also make sure that this panel stays adhered down to that white cardstock that I matted it on. I put a little foam square on the middle of that bow and then I popped my wax seal right on top. If you're worried about it coming off, you can put a little liquid adhesive on the foam square itself, something strong that you know will hold it in place. And then I'm just gonna add some Nuvo Crystal drops just scattered around the middle there, just to add a little bit of embellishment because this is such a simple card other than that gorgeous wax seal. Now for the giveaway, I have a big D-stash giveaway. I have to make some room for new supplies. So I am going to give away a big priority mailbox of gently used, some duplicates, things like that. If you have a US address, just enter the Google form in the YouTube description box below the video. And for my international friends, please share my channel, share my videos, and everybody else share as well, because we'll get to 30,000, and then I'll do a gift card giveaway for everyone to enter. Before you go, I'd love to hear if any of my favorite supplies this month caught your eye. Let me know if you're putting any of them on your wish list in the comments below. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. This munch, uh, this munch, 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 munch. <laughs> Thinking about lunch, I think. <laughs>